Hello everyone, welcome to BSV Solution. Today is we are going to discuss about diamond Lager use keys. So we are going to fill the time card entry for the one month and run the monthly payroll. And also we are going to see how we can calculate the regular salary. So let's just go to the system directly. So here login as an employee. Let's submit the time card entry and then approve it. So for, for that, we have to go to the time and absence option and then go to the existing time cards. Here, now status is saved right now. Let's submit this. Okay, so let's again click on it and then click on approve. Okay, now we have to log in as an employees manager. So here you can see that John Lee's manager is a Amy Marlin. So we have to log in as a Amy Marlin. So here is a manager of the employee. Let's click on the notification bell icon. Okay, first. Okay, so time entry is not submitted yet. Sorry. Okay, now it's submitted. Now we have to log in as in manager. So we have to just refresh the application. Okay, so here you can see that approval of payroll time entry for John Lee. Let's approve this. Okay, now it's completed. Now we have to log in as an payroll administrator to see the time card is submitted to payroll or not. So let's log in as an payroll administrator. So here you can see I'm logging in as a payroll administrator. Betty and Dashin is a payroll administrator. Okay, so we have to go to the payroll under the My Client Group. So here under the payroll, we have to go to the calculation cards. And then search for the John Lee. So here you can see the time card entry. Okay, so now let's go to the simplified quick pay option to run the payroll for this employee. So here I am. Let's open the employee. Okay. So now we have to just click on the submit option. Now it's processing. We have to wait for a few minutes. Okay. 
Okay, so now it's completed. Here you can see the net, net payment earnings, employee tax deduction, pre tax. For more details, we have to click on the show detail option, as you know. And then scroll down. So here you can see the regular salary is 15,000. Okay. And it's a monthly salary. So here you can see that 15,000 is a monthly amount. So how we can calculate this monthly salary. So here I'm just going to edit option here. So here down below you can see that the basic salary is a 10,000 here. So let's just calculate the basic salary here. So 10,000 USD dollar. Okay. And the house housing allowance percentage is 40% of the basic salary, right? So now let's calculate this. Let's calculate the 40% here. So it's 4,000, right? Here you can see it's a 4,000. Okay, let's remove this for time being. Now the salary is, monthly salary is a 14,000. 10,000 a base, basic salary, housing allowance in four, total is a 14,000, right? Then we add the transport allowance, for example, 10% the basic salary. Okay, so 1,000 added here. Let's calculate it. Let's just again basic salary is a ten thousand, right? And it's a ten percentage. So here it is. Okay. So now total amount is a here. The total salary we have here. basic plus HRA right? plus transport alone. Total is a 15,000 salary, monthly salary. Okay, so here you can see that total is a 15,000 salary. Annual salary is 1.8. Okay, so that's how we can calculate our HRA and TA on the basic salary. So I hope this method is clear to you how we can calculate the monthly salary for the employee. Thank you so much for watching the video.